Hi, my name is Dr. Alok and I want to talk about how teeth can be straightened without attachments or IPR inside the science of non-invasive straightening. So when we think about tooth straightening, we generally think about braces, we think about things being attached to the teeth, we think about visits to the clinic. But nowadays with modern technology, we have non-invasive straightening using invisible liners. And what I want to explain is exactly how that happens. It can work for a multitude of cases. If we're going from gappy cases to crowded cases, to some teeth being out of position and even arches being a little bit narrow. So let's talk about this. So here we can see what we've got is we need space. Crooked teeth don't have enough space to sit next to each other. Usually this would mean a tooth being taken away or something being attached to fix them into position. So what are braces? Braces are fittings attached to the teeth, generally using a glue. And then what that then means is then we have generally have a shape on the tooth and then some kind of um, fixture to transmit a force. It can be a wire, it can be a bracket, attachment, elastic or button. But over time, there has been an evolution in how things are straightened. We used to have braces on the front of the teeth, then we had a white brace, then we had braces behind the teeth, and then we had um, kind of hybrids where we have elastics and buttons attached to the teeth and aligners, and then we have like the buttons, and then you go to the place where you don't have anything added to the tooth at all, so it's non-invasive. So let's look at this. So the thing is, with anything attached, anything invasive, Unfortunately, there are sometimes side effects. So anything attached to the teeth sometimes can be hard to clean. So here we can see the gums have swollen a lot, unfortunately, because it's very difficult to brush and clean. And here there can be some staining or de decay can even happen around um, different attachments when it's hard to clean. The whole point is that you want to be able to like, clean and remove the food properly when you brush your teeth. So what are attachments? Attachments are little shapes. They're made of filling material. They're bonded to the tooth. When they're removed, they need to be drilled off. If they fall off, they do need to be added. And they're generally used by some kind of aligner or brace systems in clinic to move teeth. So we need space. So how do we make it? There's three ways to make space. One is something called IPR, interproximal reduction. I'll explain a bit more, but very simply, shaving a tooth to remove some enamel. The other thing is extraction, removing a tooth. Or the third thing is expansion. So expansion is making it wider. So here's an example. So IPR is a technique where the enamel is shaved or drilled using either a file or a little hand piece. What that then does is by making the teeth more slender, there is space created between them. As you can imagine, there can be some issues. Um, unfortunately, the enamel is the protective layer over the tooth. And if it's done incorrectly, here you can see the enamel has been completely removed and the dentine, the underlayer, has been exposed. Also, the shapes of the teeth are not correct. Here we can see it's actually narrower at the top than at the bottom. So when these teeth sit together, there'll be a gap. So there are things that can happen if it's not done correctly. And unfortunately, it's irreversible. So non-invasive aligners, how does that work? So it's all about expansion and it's being programmed and optimized to make the maximum expansion possible. So here we can see it's a V-shaped jaw. It looks like this might need to be removed or cut away, but actually through expansion, you can move it. And same thing here. So when do you use what? You see, depending on the case, you need to use different solutions. Expansion can be used in most cosmetic cases. Um, IPR can be used when you have some uneven shaped teeth or very triangular teeth. If the tooth is very triangular, then what happens is there's gaps in between, so it can help reduce that. Or extraction is useful in extreme cases. And sometimes you just have to do that. So with straightening non-invasively, there are three phases. Expansion, which creates space for the teeth to move. Alignment, to bring the teeth better into a new position. Or fine tuning, smaller little adjustments. So let's look at that in reality. You can see during the expansion, the teeth move apart. Small gaps appear. During alignment, some rotations occur. And fine tuning is always like little detail positioning. So when the aligners are expanding, they're designed to actually fit over your teeth so no one can see anything, but they're made on a future position, so there's some spring in it. What that means is that each one needs to be worn for a couple of weeks to expand it as much as possible, because in expansion, we're really relying on growth 
And obviously our body and um, teeth and the, the gums and then the bone structure, it can only grow at a specific rate. So we do need to have enough time. That's why we need to wear each one for 22 hours a day to make sure it grows properly daily and also to make sure we wear it for two weeks as well. Um, and as you can see that over time, you can have some quite dramatic changes. So when the aligners are working, as I explained, this is showing like the beginning 3D model. And if we go a bit further along, we can actually see the end 3D model. So you see how much movement the teeth moved in between there. And if we're thinking about what does this actually look like? Well, you can see an example here. Every month you send your photos, you wear your aligners, and step by step the teeth will move. It's as simple as that. Simple biology and physics. So I hope you found that explanation very helpful. And um, yeah, we look forward to answering any questions you may have. Thank you.